last five months, ICE's Office of Homeland Security Investigation, known as HSI, our sister agency, United States Customs and Border Protection, and many state and local law enforcement agencies have worked with the NFL and the sports industry to conduct Operation Red Zone, a nationwide bliss to disrupt the sale of counterfeit sports merchandise. And what we did was we attacked the counterfeiters at every uh, point along the criminal supply chain. We seized illegal counterfeit shipments being imported into the United States from abroad and identified uh, the individuals overseas who were responsible for it. We targeted illegal sales throughout the country, including stores, flea markets, and street vendors selling counterfeit NFL and Super Bowl goods. We seized the internet domain names of websites selling counterfeit sports goods. And we've looked for individuals selling counterfeit tickets online and on the streets. The results so far have been um, significant. We have seized more than 163,000 counterfeit trademark sports items uh, worth more than $13.6 million. Everything from hats to jerseys uh, to Nike shoes. My personal favorite um, is this counterfeit Super Bowl ring from uh, Super Bowl 44, which was in Miami, and this is uh, in uh, the New Orleans as the winning team, and uh, here someone has gone out and gone so far as to actually uh, counterfeit the ring. And it, uh, I can tell you from holding it up, it's actually quite heavy and it's uh, a better counterfeit than most. We have also seized the domain names of 313 websites selling counterfeit sports merchandise, almost all of it made overseas. The freight branding on the merchandise and the copycat websites is increasingly sophisticated. The prices are not ridiculously low, but just discounted enough to fool the consumer. Here you have footballfanatics.com. Now, Football Fanatics is a legitimate business site and an authorized retailer. The real website is on the right, but counterfeiters are preying on the consumer's knowledge of uh, the legitimate site, and they've set up a copycat site, and to the left you have footballfanatic.us. Dot com, and it offers exclusively counterfeit uh, goods under the pretense of being legitimate. To the counterfeiters, I say, you know, we've been at this for five years, and we're going to be at it for year six and year seven. We're out there. This is a full-on fight, uh, and we're going to stay at it, and we're going to put people in jail, and we're going to tape websites, and we're going to take people's uh, illegal profits, and we're going to make sure that American innovation is protected as much as uh, possibly can be done.